So today, um, the members of the Butt Lake Buffy Rickshaw Group would like to graciously present to all of you um, a performance of one of Morningside's sweetest pastimes. Now, this pastime, it's quite rare and not very commonly portrayed in skits, skits or mentioned in lectures. So we please kindly request each and every one of you to give us your undivided attention so that all of you can understand and benefit from the essence of this beautiful pastime. All right? Okay, so as we all know, Shishi Gorni Dai are known to be extremely merciful. They shower their love unlimitedly and unconditionally to all of their devotees. This has been seen and proven many times. And today, our story stands as yet another testament to their special grace. This is a heart-touching story about a devotee named Gauri Das Pandit. Now, for those of you that don't know, Gauri Das Pandit is a great devotee of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He lives in Amitabha in West Bengal, and Lord Chaitanya is very merciful to him. When one visits the courtyard of Gauri Das Pandit's temple, when one visits the courtyard of Gauri Das Pandit's temple, one can see five doors side by side at the main entrance of this temple. However, only the middle door is open for a few moments and then immediately closed. Obviously, one becomes curious to know why, correct? Right? Yes. So let's find out why. So this scene starts at the time when Mahaprabhu was visiting Gauri Das Pandit. This was just before Mahaprabhu was leaving to take sannyas. He was coming to say goodbye to his dear friend Gauri Das Pandit. My humble obeisances to your lordship. My dear Gauri it is so nice to see you. But unfortunately, this is the last time we will meet. You see, the whole world is suffering from the materialistic condition of life. And the only cure for this disease is to change Lord Krishna's name. Therefore, we have decided to preach this message and take sannyas. Paridasa, we have come to say goodbye. Yes, we really must leave now. No, my Lord wants to leave for good and take sannyas. You can't leave. Who will I talk to? Who will be my friend? I will not be able to bear this separation. You have to stay here with me, please. Please, please, my lord. Don't leave me, I beg you. My dear Gauridas, let me fulfill your desire this way. We shall manifest ourselves in the form of God and Nityananda babies that you may worship. They are not different from ourselves. Having said that, the Lord allowed for two exact duplicate deities of himself and Lord Nityananda to be caught. These are said to be the first Gordi Dai deities ever made. 
ハリーボー,リーボー,リーボー We must go now. No, no, I cannot allow this to happen. No, please, you cannot leave my lord. But Gauri Dasa, we are manifested in the deities and we are non different from them. Wait, wait, you said that the deities are non different from you. So let the deities go, but you and Nityananda Prabhu must stay with me, please. <laughs> All right, Gauri Das, as you say. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is captured by the love of his devotees. They could not say no to Gauri Das's request. So Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda raised their arms and they became the deities. And the deities put their arms down and started walking out. No, 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 My dear devotee, we are non different from the deities. Why do you worship them? But, but, my lord, if you are non different from your deities, why don't the deities go? You must remain. Please, please. That's what I am begging for. You are my life and soul. Well, if you desire so, Goridasa, so be it. <coughs> no, no. <laughs> you should be gone. I'm sure of it. I am sure of it. In this way, this continues for a while. The Supreme Lord is non different from his deities. Blinded by his pure love, Goridas Pandit took a while of his deities, and finally he surrendered to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, my Lord! Oh, Gaurachandra! Oh, Nityananda! You are the Supreme Personality of the Godhead. You are Swara. You are completely independent. If you have to leave, who am I to stop you, my lord? No one can stop your lordship. I will be happy for the rest of my life worshipping these wonderful buildings. I am so foolish that I could not understand that your lordship are non-different from your deities. Thank you so much for your mercy, my lord. So, in this way, Gauri Das Pandit was able to serve the deities regularly because they stayed in his home and they ate the rice that he offered them each day with the utmost love and devotion. <laughs> Gauri Das rendered service to Gauri Dai until his heart was filled with happiness. Srila Prabhupada has said that if you sincerely serve the deity, someday the deity will speak with you. Goridas and his deities had many, many conversations. One year, around the time of Gorapurnima, Goridas had to leave for an urgent matter. Dayananda, please come here. Dayananda, I must go away for a few days. I want you to take care of my Gaurita babies while I'm gone. This is a great honor, Gurudev. Thank you very, very much. I'll be very careful with their worship. I know. I can trust you. Because you are a pure devotee of their lordships. 
I must be very careful in worshipping my spiritual master's duties. Let me see. Oh, now Chaitanya's birthday is coming very soon. We better hold a huge festival for the pleasure of deities. We need lots and lots of preparations to be done. We need lots of prashadam. How about a South Indian feast? Yeah. <laughs> we need some best kirtanias for the festival. And how about Govinda snack stall? <laughs> and we need to have a beautiful cultural program. And this should be a huge mela. So much work to do. I need to get started right now. Pridayananda organized a huge festival. He ordered all kinds of vegetables, fruits, grains, milk, yogurt, ghee, and many more. Many devotees were invited from the neighboring villages, and first-class arrangements were made for all of them. What's going on here, Radhayananda? What is all this? Gurudev, we are getting ready for a huge Gaurapunima festival. What? You are having a festival without my permission? I am your guru. I am your spiritual master. How dare you? You are arranging a festival without my permission? No, you can't have this festival. Yes, Gurudev, as you say, I'm very sorry. Forget about this festival. Go and chant your japa by the Ganges. Yes, Gurudev. Hi, Bo. Where do these vegetables and grains go? What? Vegetables and grains? Uh... Leave it here for now. Haribo, where does this Gita Nagari home go? <laughs> what? Milk from Gita Nagari? It's a lot of milk. I don't know. Just put it over there for now. Haribo, where does all this rice go? Oh, and yes, I have six more men waiting outside with rice too. Six more men with rice? Uh, take it to the kitchen, I guess. What's going on? Hare Krishna Prabhu, there are 50 devotees from Gita Nagri, 75 devotees from uh, New Vrindavan, and 150 devotees uh, coming from Iskor of Karsipani. They all want to know where they will be staying during the festival. <laughs> Oh, Hridayananda, come here fast, please. Handle all this you started. I cannot handle this. All right, all right. Have you a festival? Happy now? There is so much produce. We have to use it out. And we wouldn't want to disappoint all these wonderful devotees yes. who have come from far away. Hari Bol! Hari Bol! Thank you so much, Gurudev. Prabhu, give all the groceries to Antaryami Prabhu and Dadan. For, uh, please contact Shankun Prabhu so that he will take care of all the traveling devotees. And you talk to Sannamli Mataji so that she will get the help for all the cooking uh, volunteers. And all of you please save your bills and please uh, give to Zadani Mataji. So that she will help. <laughs> Gurudev, here is the offering for the deities. Oh, the offering is ready? Good. Bring it over while I get ready. Dayananda, go and start the kirtan for the festival 
I will join soon. They were just here. The babies are gone. Where are Dormita? No, no, no. They are cheating me again. They have run off. <laughs> But they are trying to cheat me again. That's not fair. Gaurmitai, please get back in the temple right now. <laughs> Gaura, Nitai. Don't cheat me. Get back in the temple right now. <laughs> Don't run off like this. Gaura, Nikai, wait, wait. What are you doing? Come back, please. <laughs> there they are. They are hiding in your heart, Hridayananda. They are hiding in your heart, Hridayananda. <laughs> what? In my heart? Where? Look. They are hiding in your heart. Hridayananda, you are such a pure devotee. You are such a pure devotee, Hridayananda. But you, Gavrnitai, please get back to the altar where you are supposed to be. Please don't do this to me. Now take your prasad. It's getting cold. Pura kana tanda kar diya. Pradayananda, please come here. Since Lord Chaitanya, and Lord Nityananda hid in your heart. From now on, your name will be Ridaya Chaitanya. <laughs> Ridayananda, remember, from now on, don't ever leave the deity's curtain open longer than a minute or two. I don't want Gauritai to run off again. So you see, in order to prevent Gauritai deities at Ambika Kalma from running away, the middle altar door is open only for a few moments. And one more incredibly important message that we get from this beautiful pastime of Gauridas Pandit is that the Lord, His holy name, and his deity form are one and the same. There's no difference between them. Start the festivities of Gaur Purnima. Gaur Nitai Ki! Gaur Nitai Ki! So we have Shraya as devotee one, then we have Kushi as devotee two, then we have Jigna Mataji as devotee three, then we have Soham as Lord Nityananda, our deity of Lord Nityananda. 
Then we have Mishti as Lord Chaitanya, our deity of Lord Chaitanya. Then we have Kavan Prabhu as Lord Nityananda. Then we have Harshita Mataji as Gaur Chandra. Then we have Tripti Radha Mataji as Hridaya Chaitanya. And last but not least, we have Rohan Govan Prabhu as Gauri Das Pandit. So this was an attempt from the Mandali Bhakti Richa group. So every member of the Mandali Bhakti Richa participated and they put their hard work, right? We are not a professional um, uh, drama uh, act actors, but still we tried. And then I want to just call a couple of people who did it. They gave a uh, great significant contribution to this drama. The first, Pavan and... Uh, and uh, Divna Mataji, daily they were giving the feedback for the drama practice and based on that we were improving. Next I want to thank Mishti. Mishti did all the recording of the, our clips and then organized it, added the music, edited, etc. Even though she is in her college first year, she was very incredibly talented. From So she was our chief technology officer for this drama. <laughs> And then last but not the least, Harshi Mataji. Harshi Mataji was, the, she wrote the script. She was the director, producer, and she executed the strategy, put together everything, make sure the rehearsal happened, rest rehearsal happened. She led the whole execution end to end. So she is our chief executive officer of the drama. So what to thank everyone. Everybody. So, um, for those of you that don't know, my name is Subiksha and my name is Mishti. And we're a part of Leadership Sangha, which is a youth group here at Tawako, New Jersey. And it consists of students in high school and in college. And so, we just wanted to take a few minutes of your time to briefly just talk about Soul Sync, which is a um, which is a program that we're going to have, and it's a re envisioned Sunday feast program. And so, this program will take place on April. 7th from 4 p.m. onwards and it will follow the same schedule as our regular Sunday Feast programs follow. So first we'll have Arthi, then we'll have Lecture, then we'll have Prashad, and then we'll have Shine Darshan. So some of you may be wondering why are, why are we letting youth take over a Sunday Feast program? Well, what me and my classmates have noticed over time is that although we like coming to these programs week after week, some of us have been here for years on end, so week after week, it gets pretty routine and pretty mechanical. And although we love it and enjoy seeing our friends, we don't really have the same spark, that same fire and enthusiasm that we once had when we first came to these Sunday Feast programs. So, so the goal of this program is to basically create a space for this temple community to be able to rekindle that same fire and spark that we had before. And this will be done in an interactive and fun way, in a way that not only can you build that connection and that spiritual connection with Krishna, but with each other as well. And so what you will be seeing at this program is we will be having Arthis with explanations that touch your soul, I guarantee. And we will also be having um, a discussion that will be our lecture, but it will be spiritually insightful. We'll be having delicious prashad, and as always, and we will also be having just a moment for everyone to be able to connect with each other and to just interact with each other in a fun and friendly, interactive way. So we hope to see you all there without a doubt. It's April 7th, 4 p.m. And if you have any questions, you can always ask us or there is a link in all the WhatsApp groups. So be sure to check that out. Thank you. Thank you.